that's not here today. Joanna is filling in as photographer. So it's just an intro. I just want to give you guys an update on each room. It's definitely a process. You know, in your head you think there's moving day and everything gets moved and then you're in. But honestly, it's just like life. It's kind of an evolution that's happening in stages. One room gets emptied out and then it gets filled in again with some stuff that comes from another room. And we're kind of at this stage right now that we've just got the straggler stuff at the end. And about half of it is going and about half of it is going to Goodwill and to be recycled. And Johanna, you and your sisters came over the other day and had a big clothes fest here where I was giving away lots of clothes. So there'll be another big purge once we get to the new house and I go through things and I see what what works and what doesn't work. Ideally, it would be nice if we purged everything and we didn't move it, but uh, that's just not life and it's not reality. And it's also important to me that we use as much stuff that we already have without buying some new stuff. So we have to kind of see what works and what doesn't. So now here we go. I'll just give you a little update, kind of room to room. Now for a little bedroom update. You can see uh, there, it's just a lost cause. There's no reason to even make the bed at this point. And we will we'll still be here for a while, um, primarily for a number of different reasons. One being that I want to make sure we have internet and things over there before we move completely. And also just because there's just so many little things that we need to, loose ends that we need to tie up and stuff that we need to get rid of. It looks so different when it's almost empty. And the morning light in here, I have to say, the morning light in my office, which is one of the reasons that I made my office upstairs is because the morning light was just incredible. These boxes are all getting ready to contain my closet wardrobe. And I did have a meeting, I should say a meeting, a gal fest with some buddies of mine who came over and went through a bunch of my clothes that I'm getting rid of. You can see I haven't moved my computer yet. This was the room that when we first bought the house had just a, shall I say hideous floral wallpaper, but it had these wonderful coved and rounded ceilings that we replicated when we redid the closet and we diminished the size of this room just a little bit. And I, I've always loved these plantation shutters. They're one of the things we're looking at for the new house. But like everything, every decision, there are pros and cons, and sometimes you just don't get every advantage of every option. So we will just do the best that we can. Slowly but surely, the closet is being cleaned out. I am weeding out those things I don't want any longer, saving a few pieces of clothing that I can still wear while the rest is in transit. Mostly it's just the long things that remain. Coats and dresses and things like that. Um, and then the rest is just kind of a sundry detritus of stuff that just needs to, needs to go someplace. It's these kind of unfun things that seem to always, oh, they just seem to make it into the last box. By the way, I, most of you probably already know this, but if you do not use these felt hangers, you absolutely must because they're just wonderful. That's kind of a secret of adulthood that I didn't know when I was younger. That jacket is getting ready to go to Goodwill or the thrift store. And I've got just a few shoes remaining. And I will miss this wonderful closet, but happily, I have another wonderful closet that I'm moving into. It always helps to have a backup plan that you're excited about. Understandably, the kitchen is one of the last rooms to be packed up. Of course, there has to be something beautiful, though, to enjoy. 
while we're doing so. Here's a gorgeous Lagoon Amaryllis from Color Blends. I don't even have the lights turned on in here, you guys. And then I've got another huge budded Amaryllis in weight. I've also got some Amaryllis over at the new house. And probably the view I will miss the most is this one. But I promise, I know this makes you sad as it makes me sad, but I promise I vow to do my best to make some more beautiful views for all of us to enjoy. The breakfast room is kind of our last bastion. You'll notice that the dad chair, specifically hubs, is the last thing to leave in addition to all of the TVs, which who knew there would be so many opinions about where to place your TV. I just love it. We also have some firewood ready to do what will soon be our last fire in this kitchen. And yes, very sadly, I keep looking out the window, out my kitchen window at what will soon be my last view from this kitchen window as owner of the house. Slowly but surely, our spirits are leaving 829 Northwest 40th Street and we are relocating to Mesta slash Heritage. And it has been interesting, informative. We found all sorts of nice things and nice surprises as we go through. But it definitely is a very um, humbling process. Lots of glare this morning, but the sunshine is beautiful and it's gonna be a wonderful day. This is one of the views I will miss. Probably the first thing I do every morning is I wake up and I look out my bedroom window to see if there's a little bit of frost, to see if we got any moisture the night before, to see if there's <laughs> any new squirrel damage, and then I, we put our trash cans out, and that is one thing, part of the moving process. I'm gonna have to find out when our new trash day is. And then there's my beloved old tree. We do love it so, but we're getting ready to plant some trees at the new house, and I am so excited about it. And it's one of the reasons that I'm not quite as bereft as I could be over leaving this house because I know we're gonna be planting some marvelous things at the new place. So the basement has pretty much been cleaned out. Now we just need to clean it up and we're working on that. We just had a massive Lego spill. <laughs> a massive Lego spill. Johanna accidentally dropped a box of a huge thing of Legos, and I recognized the sound almost immediately, that telltale clacking sound that only Legos make. Um, it was in the box of those prized toys that I was keeping for the boys. So that kind of stuff happens. Fortunately, Johanna was fine. Well, thanks to Johanna for pinch hitting for Stuart right now. Uh, that's pretty much the state of affairs. This is the area where I had the garden bench and the garden bench has already been moved and it's really bizarre to me how things look. And, but now that some of the stuff has been at the new house for a while, it's just, I'm getting more and more excited and less and less sad. And the other thing is, and this I guess is my question of the day, if you have moved at a certain point, are you just kind of over it? And I think that's how I am right now. I'm just kind of over the process. I wanna, I wanna go hiking. I wanna get out of here. I am tired of packing boxes. Johanna is tired of packing boxes and you're just kind of sick of the process. Now I realize that is very much a first world problem. <laughs> I do realize that, but there is a lot of work and a lot of effort. And so I'm amazed by people that move frequently because I just cannot imagine 
this process going on more than once every 30 years. Let me put it that way. So we will be doing next week our one last Wednesday walkabout in this garden. Today it's absolutely beautiful, isn't it, Johanna? It feels like it's, gosh, it feels like spring. And things are, things are really, I've said it before, things are getting really real. So thank you, thank you guys for hanging in there with this update. And of course, there will be more to come over at the new house.